How's it going guys? So today we're gonna to talk about the glycemic index and specifically, do foods high in the glycemic index cause your body to make and store more body fat? And just in case you don't know who I am, my name's Jordan Syatt. I'm a strength coach, nutrition consultant, and most importantly, 27th degree black belt and chugging coffee. A lot of people think that high glycemic foods will make your body store more fat because when they think that when you eat high glycemic foods, your body is going to have a very high insulin release, specifically from carbohydrates, and they think that when you have that high insulin, insulin release from carbohydrates, your body is going to stop burning fat and actually keep it storing more fat throughout a long period of time. But that's a very short-sighted way of looking at things. And because of that, because they're looking at this very small, tiny aspect of insulin that it's raised by carbohydrates and in the short term, it blunts fat burning, then people have extrapolated and said, well, no, we can't have high glycemic foods because that's going to stop you from burning fat. And in fact, it's actually gonna make you gain fat, which is a myth, and I'll tell you why. The first one being is that carbohydrates aren't the only food that spikes insulin. In fact, protein spikes insulin a lot. And since we all know anyone trying to lose fat and stay lean emphasizes protein in their diet, it doesn't really make sense to think that just because you're spiking insulin, your body is going to store more fat. There's a lot more to it than only what you're eating in terms of carbohydrates and protein it has a lot more to do with how much you're eating. And that leads into the second reason which is that assuming you are in good health and you don't have diabetes or another illness of the sort, insulin is not going to remain chronically elevated as long as you're in what's called an energy balance, which basically means if you're eating less than your body burns every day, if you're in what's called a calorie deficit, then insulin is going to spike after a meal and then drop back down to normal ranges so you can continue burning fat over the course of the day. And as long as your net time spent in a calorie deficit at the end of the day is more than the time spent in a calorie surplus, you'll burn fat no matter how high your insulin goes. One of my favorite examples that I like to use is watermelon. Because watermelon actually has a very high glycemic index of 72. And maybe this is just me being an, being an ignoramus, but I've never seen anybody get fat from eating too much watermelon. Well, enjoy the watermelon, man. I am. And another thing that's really important to remember is that most people don't just have one food at a time. They usually combine it with their meals, right? Like yogurt and fruit, meat and some type of carbohydrate, maybe a little bit of fat in there as well. And what's really important to remember is that as you combine foods together, the collective glycemic index of that meal goes down, okay? So it doesn't matter if you're having one, glyce one high glycemic food because as you put the meal together, it's probably gonna go down anyway. And that totality of it says a lot more than just the isolated metric of that one singular food. So what does all this really boil down to? We know the glycemic index or high glycemic foods aren't going to make your body gain or store more fat. So what does dictate how much body fat you have? It's simple. It all boils down to calories in versus calories out. If you are eating less than your body needs on a daily basis, you are going to continue to burn fat and get leaner and get more defined. That's what it all boils down to. It's not easy. There are strategies that you can use along the way to make it easier, and I'll discuss them in later videos. But really, it all boils down to calories in versus calories out. And as long as you can manage your energy intake far more than focusing on eliminating a simple macronutrient, like focusing on eliminating carbohydrates or stopping eating high glycemic foods, if you can manage your energy intake above all else, you will lose fat no question about it. Now, I have something for you. It's a free metabolic conditioning guide with 101 
free conditioning workouts. They're some of my best workouts to burn more fat, build more muscle, and get more definition. And if you're watching on Facebook, you can get it in the link above. And if you're watching on YouTube, you can get it in the description box below. It's free, no cost, get it if you want. Just be prepared to work and sweat because they're pretty freaking hard. I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Your doctor before, oh shit. shit. Is that like too loud? The, the oh God. <laughs> Fat just because they have a high insulin response. All that means, ooh, fuck, I just got bit. Damn it. <laughs>